the Canterbury District Health Board is responsible for the planning and funding of all health services to a population of about 510,000. And that includes funding for general practice, community pharmacies, the aged care sector, as well as owning and operating the large tertiary hospitals in the area. The one thing that we were missing was a shared care record, and after the earthquake, the catalyst was to sort that out in the space of six months. In the days and weeks afterwards, health information became important because many general practices had sustained damage and weren't operating. People from Canterbury went to other parts of the country and needed their prescriptions filled, their health problems dealt with by, by clinicians who had no information about them. The key groups involved were the general practitioners, um, community pharmacists, our community nursing agency, and um, the hospital team. We all had information in a whole series of systems, so then we have to work out how we join it up. And the expedient way to do that was to set up a central um, repository and have those uh, practice-based systems or hospital-based systems supply information into that. How this works is, is if somebody turns up um, at a point of care, they can access um, with just a few keystrokes key information about their care, who they saw last, um, a summary of their care from a recent discharge or a clinic letter, a list of medications. The information uh, that's shared is held in, a, in a, a standard clinical data repository provided by Ryan Help, and it's hosted in Christchurch in a standard data centre that's designed, of course, now to be disaster-proof. And then we have a sort of matrix to match people's clinical role against the information set to see what would be appropriate for them to access. That was an important thing to negotiate all of those things to make sure that the clinicians had confidence to share the information. We've been working hard to transform a health system for a number of years and obviously electronic health record was one part of that. But the important thing is we've created a community, a shared health community, where people are much more engaged and willing to work together on things. I've been so impressed with the enthusiasm of the, the community providers, particularly the pharmacists you know, and GPs. We've got, um, between them, over 90% of them actively engaged in the process and are now using it. This is an accident medical type clinic and before patients had to recall their own medical history um, word for word and, and generally they're very poor at remembering their medications, they may not know the names, and very rarely do you get a complete full list of their medications and their dosages. And there's risk in that. We're very reliant on the patient providing the information, and uh, some of our patients, of course, are in no condition to give any information when they arrive. So during the day, we might be able to contact their general practitioner, but out of hours, this became very problematic. This will allow us to have that communication out of hours and on the weekends. With ESCRV, it gives us an ability to get a view of the hospital record, but also of their dispensings. Um, so we can see what was dispensed when. The other huge thing is that we can go into labs and also x-rays. So now across Canterbury, no matter where the, where the lab work was done, we can see it. Before we were working in the dark and now we can find out their entire medical history. It's just changed the job hugely compared to what we were using before. It's fantastic. Other organisations can join, such as the ambulance service. And that would mean that uh, if they pulled up outside someone's home, they would have access to the key parts of the record. And before they arrived in the emergency department, the emergency department would have um, information from the ambulance service. You can also do a simple thing like have a, a virtual consultation. A, a, a GP can bring a hospital specialist and they both look at the same record. One of our clinicians said it was the best invention since the stethoscope. In the space of six months we have developed an electronic shared care record that countries have spent billions trying to develop. We have sorted in the space of about one and a half million dollars and are able your health record is able to be accessed anywhere within the Canterbury Health System, wherever you need your care, and whether the record is in primary care, whether it's related to pharmacy, or whether it's a hospital, 
or in fact our district nursing health services. It's quite a remarkable story. My background is a geriatrician and I, I look after older and frailer people with most complex conditions and complex sets of medication and it's a frequent frustration that we don't have the ability to provide the right care at the right time because we don't have the background information. Their health record becomes the important glue that holds it all together. If that's available at the right point of care, then you're much more likely to be able to coordinate the care. This is an opportunity not just for us in New Zealand but other people around the world to, to take part in this, to, you know, to be part of the collaboration. And I think in providing a reliable, organised health information system, what we're doing is allowing people to rapidly innovate and change. So it's a trigger for innovation and enabler. It also destabilises things. It can change the way people perceive how healthcare can be provided.